Hi everyone, it's Trisha. Thank you so much for joining me here. The following is an excerpt from a Facebook Live event, so I hope you enjoy it. So then that brings me to ghosts, basically. Ghosts, uh, meaning people who have passed, who have not crossed over into the light. You don't need to talk to them. You don't need to deal with them. They need to just cross over. There are very rare occasions where I actually do counsel a ghost or a spirit that hasn't crossed over. And my counseling goes like this. I'm not paying you very much attention. You need to cross over. And if they have some arguments and fears and whatever, I say, listen, you've been seeing your loved ones come over, right? And they're like, oh, because they see their loved ones coming through the light. And, and I'm like, yeah, that's real. The only thing you need to do is cross over. I don't want to hear anything else. You need to cross over. I spend no time with them. I, like I say, in my mind's eye, I'm not even looking at them. I have such strong boundaries. I'm like ignoring them like I'm a mean girl. Like, no, nope. oh, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm not a mean girl. That's me being tough in love. That's me giving them really firm love. You need to move over. You need to move over to that light. That's it. And I reason with them about it a little bit, a very tiny bit. I just break down the facts. And then I say, not my business anymore. I counseled you. I told you, you know what's happening there. You can feel it. You're in denial about it. And I'm just telling you what you already know. And they always kind of go like, oh, they still have a choice. And it isn't my business if they cross over or not. A lot of times, you usually do. You pray for them later. And praying is different than connecting with them. And they almost always crossover. The only reason I say almost always is because it's not my business. So I don't always know if they do. Sometimes I ask my guides later and they'll tell me yes or whatever. The exception I had to that was when uh, my father needed to cross over and his body actually wasn't expired yet when this happened. I did hold his hand and I, I had to, it was, it was a challenge, but I held his hand and helped him to cross over. And that was the, that was the exception. And I don't even think that that is necessary but it was a beautiful experience. So it's a highly, a high anomaly. It was very, very much an anomaly. It was very unusual and it isn't our responsibility. And it, I don't know if it was necessary. It was helpful, but um, just praying and all of the prayer warriors that were involved in um, his passing was really probably the thing that helped to move that energy in the way that it, needed to go the way that it should go. So then one more thing about ghosts. I said that ghost animals <laughs> come here to my home sometimes. I have a slightly lighter boundary on that. They're still not able to step to when I'm trying to sleep or do something important. But the, every now and again, because, and this is again because I like it and it isn't intrusive, like a kitty, a ghost kitty will show up and be like, hi. And I'm like, what are you doing here, little ghost kitty? And he's like, mm, I just died. Bye-bye now. <laughs> you know, it's like they just wanted to come somewhere that was close by. I mean, not close, but you know what I mean? Like it's non-physical. They just went to this light first because I'm a medium and, you know, I have other animals that are really, you know, beautiful and, and spiritual. And they just decided to go, I'm going to go this way to the light. So, you know, and, it, and it's a little blessing. It's really they're doing it for me uh, because I love it so much.